Good morning, and thanks for making Tiger TV Network your source for news and information here in Middleton High. I'm Leah Richardson. Today is Friday, October 23rd. Tonight we wrap up our homecoming festivities when we take on Spoto here at home. More on that in a moment. But first, major schedule changes. Today's ending of the first nine weeks marks the beginning modification to the schedules of many Middleton students. Assistant Principal Gwendolyn Hodge joins us this morning for more information. Good morning, Ms. Hodge. Good morning. So first question, what can students expect Monday? Um, some students can expect a schedule change um, due to we have collapsed classes based on unit cuts. But the fortunate thing for Middleton is there were no teacher cuts. So we did what we could to save jobs. And so please understand students that these changes are done. They unfortunately cannot be changed, but you will have all of the classes you need um, so you can reach um, the graduation. Do you predict many students who e-learned for the first nine weeks to return to brick and mortar Monday? No, I do not predict that. And, and the reason why we have space based on what students chose. So we schedule classes based on those choices that they made in the summer. And so there is not a lot of room and we want to continue to be able to social distance and be able to have students where we can spread them out. Of course, they're wearing their masks in the cafeteria. All of those things are important so that everyone is comfortable, including their teachers. So we are trying to help everyone understand the choice that you made is a choice we need to stick with because of the conditions in the pandemic. Will we have homeroom first to distribute the new schedules? Yes, we will have homeroom first and it was posted last night so that we will have a 10 minute homeroom to get your new schedules. Now there are some quite a few changes, but everybody's schedule will not be changed. But since we there's an impact in different classes and schedules, we chose to do an overall um, distribution of schedules so everybody know exactly where they are. About how many students do you think will be impacted by all of this? Um, I'm not sure off the top of my head. Uh, there are classes where they had the teacher had an extra period and so that extra period resulted in them not ha having less conference and planning. So we've collapsed those classes so the teacher has a regular schedule with both planning periods. So it's really hard to predict how many because it's a trickle effect. When you change one, you have to change others. So I'm not really sure, but, it, uh, but it's, it's not the entire school. Will you offer the option of schedule changes for students who are unhappy with that selection for them? Well, unfortunately, we can't make schedule changes based on kids being unhappy. We make schedule changes based on the need. And just like in college, um, you have to get what's available. So we can't make any more periods available. We're collapsing. So to accommodate everybody's like, likes and wants, we, we can't really do that. We have to do what's based on what they need to graduate. So no, there will not be schedule changes because they are unhappy. What about teachers? Will they be expected to review this nine weeks material for new students or are they expected to just pick up where they leave off today with their instruction? Well, I think they can pick up where they left off because the schedule changes are not class changes or course changes, it's period changes. So if you are in English 1 and you got a different English 1 class, you should, you're in the same class. So hopefully they can just pick up where they left off. What would you say to students and teachers who are feeling overwhelmed by the constant changes? I think we all are feel, feeling overwhelmed because of constant changes. And so I just state what I do. I step back and I reflect. Uh, I thank God that I'm healthy and so is my family. I thank God, and this is what Ms. Hodge does. I thank God that I can get up and come to a job that I love. I know I'm a tough administrator, but I love all the kids. So we have to step back and just count all of the small things and the blessings. Take one day at a time and this too shall pass. So hopefully it'll pass sooner than later. <laughs> Again, thank you Ms. Hodge for joining us. These changes are expected to take place next week, the start of the second nine weeks, which is Monday. Thank you.
So now the news this morning, homecoming 2020. COVID-19 has not stopped us from celebrating this long-standing tradition. Here's Jam Jameer Shine with a recap of this week's events. Thank you. I am here in the 200 building. As you can see, homecoming is in the air, literally. Here's a recap of this week's events. We have Mean Girls Monday. We have Back to the Future Tuesday. Then there was Minions Wednesday. Thursday, the thing is green. And today, as always, we have Tiger Pride Friday. <laughs> we are hours away from tonight's D game against Spokane. For more on that, I toss it to my colleague, Cameron Williams. Cameron? Thank you, man. Now, our Tigers take on the Spoto Spartans here at home. It's a big match, of course, because we're coming off a loss last week against King. And we need to come back and redeem ourselves and get the dub. Now, not to forget, it's homecoming game, and we don't want to lose. Now, don't forget, start time is 7.30, and don't forget to get your tickets at hillsboroughschools.org. I'm Cameron Williams. Back to your Studio A. Thanks, Cameron. In other news, hats off to building construction teacher Mr. Kyle Thompson for his win of this year's Harbor Freight Tools for School Awards. Here's reporter Brenda Gonzalez with more on the story. Thanks, Leah. There were three rounds of judging in this competition of trade teachers from around the country. Of the hundreds of applicants, Thompson made the final cut of 15 teachers. He and his program are the recipients of $50,000. Congratulations, Mr. Thompson, and to your students. I'm Brenda Gonzalez. Now back to Leia. Finally this morning, beautifying Middleton High. You may have noticed changes on the yard recently. Here's Zeb Brianna Kennedy and a very special guest with the story. Tigers, I'm on scene outside of the 200 building where you haven't noticed a beautiful garden has sprouted. This was put together by our students in the Future Farmers of America, also known as FFA. This is only the beginning. They have other plans in the works, but for, for more on that, you have to tune in next week. I'm Zabriana Kennedy with our guest, Miss Kim Johnson. That's our show for today as we wrap up the first nine weeks of 2020 through 2021 school year. I'm Leah Richardson. Enjoy the rest of your homecoming Friday today. Join us again next week, same time, same place, same channel. Until then, have a wonderful and safe weekend and make it a great rest of the day in the land of the mighty tigers. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go.